hello 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 and welcome to the channel for those of you that are on for the first time welcome 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 to birth and bosses with felicia and i am boss lady fee guys i hope you're having a great great saturday i am having an amazing day to all of my boss ladies that's always returning always rocking welcome to the channel guys listen y'all i am on my way to church to um drop off the book bags you probably can see the stuff in the back I'm on my way to drop off the book bags. I'm going to go ahead and pick up the um, food for tomorrow and kind of get things a little bit prepped up um, so that when I get there tomorrow morning, I won't have to do anything, okay? So that's what I'm on my way to do. So I thought, hey, what a great, great time to do like part two of the video that I started yesterday. If you guys didn't get the opportunity to watch part one, then hop off of this video and hop on and watch part one yesterday. I don't remember what the um, what the topic um, was yesterday, but it was something um, something about Dollar General shopping and something. I don't know. Anyway, it has part one on it. Okay, I make so many videos a day, guys. I can't keep up with the titles that I put on each one. But either either way, um, we are. I'm um, going to go ahead and talk about the part two of the video. It got a little bit lengthy yesterday, um, so I didn't want to make it too, too long. So I wanted to do a part two. So that's why we're on this video today, guys. So listen, for those of you that follow me um, on different shopping hauls, you see the different um, clearance shopping that I do. A lot of it is done at Dollar General, but I do clearance shopping. Um, everywhere, but I'm pretty much an expert when it comes to Dollar General and quite a few other stores, but Dollar General is my number one. I am the Dollar General queen, okay? Um, so yeah, um, a lot of you follow me um, and you see me doing all of the different shopping hauls and showing you guys all of the amazing deals, even down to the penny items that I find, right? So I want to let you guys know as I stated yesterday, shopping or anything fun can be addictive, right? So you have to learn how to find a balance, not just in business, but in life in general. Um, you have to learn to find the balance in it all, okay? And the other thing is everybody's business, everybody's lives are different, okay? Everybody's financial situation is different. So where I may be able to go out and spend two and three hundred dollars each time I go shopping somebody else may not be able to do that or vice versa so you just kind of have to know where you are financially and know where your business stand and know what you need okay um for me because of the amount of baskets that I make during holidays I have to shop like that um that's the only way that I'm able to make five figures per holiday is by me going out buying um, great um, large hauls like I do. So whenever I'm shopping, I'm not shopping out of an addiction. I'm shopping out of a necessity. Um, so if I'm doing two to 300 baskets, which you all that have been following me for um, since the beginning of this year or even last year, know that this year um, for Valentine's alone, I did 450 to 500. I don't know the exact count. I kind of lost count but i'm just guesstimating um by the time i finished it was right at 450 to 500 i know it wasn't less than that um so i make that amount of baskets so i have to shop like that right but if you are an individual that i don't want to say that don't sell that much but if you're not going to put in that much work because just because you didn't sell that many last year don't mean that you can't sell that many this year, okay? So I don't want to base it upon what you sell or what you normally sell because every day and every year is supposed to get greater and greater in every area of life. Um, so if you're running a business and last year for Christmas you only sold 20 gift baskets, this year you shouldn't be looking forward to selling 20 gift baskets. You should be looking forward to at least doubling or tripling what you did last year. Um, do you're at a stagnation point, you're at a stagnated place, and anytime you're in business or just life or spiritual um, aspects, nothing in life should be at the same place that it was last year. Everything should always be greater and greater coming up, okay? That's where you're able 
to see your growth in relationships you're able to see your growth in your business you're able to see growth in whatever area um that you're dealing with at the time so i wanted to tell you guys the the main purpose for shopping is because you have the drive you have the tenacity to put all of these things together, whether you're designing gift baskets, whether you're reselling items or whatever you're doing, what would be the purpose to go out and shop all day long and end up with a car full of merchandise only to go pack it up in your attic, pack it up in your storage bin, never to use it just to collect dust, just to say, oh, I'm shopping, oh, I'm a boss. There's more to being a boss than shopping, okay? So once you shop for all of these items, you gotta then take time to organize, you gotta take time to um, list all of this stuff. If you're gonna be reselling, if you're gonna be designing, you gotta take the time to design, you gotta take the time to put those items away and then you've got to take the time to advertise what you're doing so shopping is the least of what you have to do when it comes to gift basket designing or when it comes to any other type of business okay every business you have to shop whether you have to shop in halls or whether you have to shop online every business um shopping is going to be entailed whether you're shopping for new office equipment whether you're shopping for toiletry items or whatever you're shopping for your office or what have you shopping is going to be involved yes it's very exciting when you're in business and you're able to shop like that and you're selling items it can get very very exciting but the excitement kind of dwindles away when like i said you got to put all of that stuff up you got to get it organized and you got to get it sold you're not in business for storage okay we're not trying to make the storage people rich by um getting all of these storage units or all of these she sheds and packing them up with stuff that we're not selling so i want to tell you guys to make sure that you are keeping your focus in business okay that you're not just um watching my videos and getting hyped up um by the shopping that i'm doing if you want to get hype off of something i want you to get hype off of the work ethics that i put in or the time that i put in or the hustle that i put in okay because that's where you're going to get your money back at because if you're just a person that's following me and getting inspired by my hauls and oh i'm getting ready to run to the dollar general and see if i can find the same thing you're going to be inspired but at the same time you're going to be broke you're going to be inspired, but at the same time, you're going to be discouraged because you're going to end up with a whole bunch of stuff that you're not doing anything with. So if you're going to grab hold to the ethics of Boss Lady Fee, Boss Lady Fee is a grinder. Boss Lady Fee is a hustler, baby. I'm telling you, I live to hustle. I live to make money, okay? That's what I was born and called to do and to teach other people how to do the same thing. And I do it all by the working of my hands, okay? My hands is what brings me wealth and what brings um, revenue to me and my family. So if you're gonna grab, grasp hold to something, it is learn how to save, learn how to budget, learn how um, to shop with a purpose. Have a purpose while you're shopping. Have a purpose while you're getting stuff for 90% off. Are you going to donate it? Are you going to do like I did with the penny book bags? What would have been the purpose um, for me getting all of these penny book bags that I'm going to be giving away tomorrow if I wasn't going to do anything with them? Like I said in the video that I posted prior to this one, those book bags have been in my attic for two years. The reason they've been in my attic for two years, it wasn't because I didn't have a purpose for getting them. Of course, if they're a penny, we're gonna get them point blank and period if we got, just gotta go and give them to the thrift store. But my purpose when I purchased them was to do back to school drives, okay? But then the pandemic came. I've always did back to school drives, even when I didn't have two nickels to rub together myself, I always did back to school drives um but when the pandemic came i wasn't able to do what i planned to do so the book bags was just sitting there and so you have to come like i said to a balance in your life where you gotta take time and make time for what you need to do so i knew that i needed to clean out my attic i'm steadily getting new things in i need to make room 
for other things. I need to organize the things that I have. I need to be a good steward over the things that I already have. If I haven't listed these items by now to sell, at this point, I need to give them away. I need to be a blessing to somebody else. So that's what I'm doing today, going to um, prepare for tomorrow with the book bag giveaway, okay? I was gonna give them away initially, then after I never had the book, um, the school bag drive, then I said, okay, maybe I'll sell them in bundles and, you know, make some back to school bundles. I never did that. At this point, Felicia, give the book bags away, okay? So that's what I want to encourage you guys on this video. Take the time, make the time to get yourself organized. Um, do strategic planning when it comes to your business. Don't be all over the place just running around buying stuff and throwing stuff everywhere. I have my, one of my rooms is like that now. And I'm like, look, Felicia, you got to get yourself together. Okay. You got to get yourself together, honey. It's good that you're making money and you're filling your bag, but you got to get yourself organized. You got to get yourself planned. Those of you that are following me know that I'm in the process of building my website. Yeah. I thought it would have been launched about a week ago, but it's my fault. Boss Lady Fee has been slipping but my um my um website should be launching within the next day or two okay when it does launch i want you guys to flood it out i want you to buy everything up there i want you guys to crash my website with sales okay it's gonna be um my gift baskets are gonna be up there my um some of my boutique items are gonna be up there my shrink wrap bag is going to be up there, guys. It's going to be so many things for crafters, and it's going to be a lot of stuff up there, guys. So make sure that you go and shop it. My one on one sessions are going to be up there. My classes are going to be up there. Let me stick a plug right here, guys. Um, for those of you that have not been able to purchase my one on ones, my one on ones are 129, guys. It may seem like a lot, but I promise you that it's not a lot for a one-on-one -on -one for one hour and 15 minutes of one-on-one -on -one time with Boss Lady Fee. I promise you it's not too much, okay? Um, but for those of you that just are not able to afford it right now, or you just simply be like, hey, I'm not going to pay her. I'm going to watch these um, YouTube videos for free. That's fine too. Um, but for those of you that have genuinely wanted to take the class but haven't, I am now in the process of offering classes through Facebook. For those of you that are on Facebook, I'm offering those through Facebook. I will soon be um, offering them um, through Zoom so that you don't have to be a part of Facebook. But right now, I'm, this is where I'm starting it, okay? I don't want to overwhelm myself, but I have a class coming up this Tuesday, y'all. Um, that's only $25.99. I'm going to say it again. $25.99 for a hour class. Okay? For a hour's class. And I will come back and do a separate video telling you guys about the class. Okay? But I'm going to go ahead and end this video because I don't want to get all over the place with talking about so many different things. The purpose of this video is to teach you guys to shop with purpose, make sure you strategize, make sure you organize, and make sure that you get your business to the point where you are able to flourish and you're able to make money. Don't base your blueprint off of my blueprint because I can't base mine off of yours, okay? Everybody has a different purpose, everybody has a different vision, and everybody has a different, um, you know, a different plan when it comes to building their business. So do things according. Yeah, I'm here as a guide, but you know, you can't do everything I do and I can't do everything you do. So make sure that you are aligning your business and your plans with that which you have been called to do. Okay, guys, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, you know what to do. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell so that each and every time I upload a video, you will be the first to be notified. Y'all know what I'm gonna say. Get your money, honey, and fill your bag until the next video. Bye-bye.